Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with an embellishment video using playing cards. So I have a variety of playing cards. I have these Coca-Cola cards that I got in a tin. I don't remember. I think I might have got these at the estate sale. So they have these two different cards. And I think they're going to be fun to use in my pinup um, book journal that I have started to work on. I have these with the blue. And um, I always save the Queen of Hearts in case I am going to be doing... Uh, I save the que Queen and usually the Three and the King, if I can find it. Um, I'll save those ones for Alice in Wonderland. So out of random ones. This was a deck of cards. I was playing Solitaire and the Ace of Spades was missing. <laughs> so it got put in my in my stash. Um, I have butter butterfly clip here to work with. I have um, these vintage cards that I had. One is um, the purple or violets and the other one is orange. And then I have this one. I, it's getting down to the end of my one, the ones I have with music notes. And then I had gotten these at the Goodwill um, for 99 cents. Probably, I, I don't remember. They were brand, they're brand new. So, um, but these are playing cards as well. And they are 52 relaxing rituals. But they are kind of fun little cards they just and they're brand new they were still in the um in the had the wrapping on them so you know there might be you know maybe, <laughs> it might just be a fun thing to have so um i was going to probably work with that one right there if we have time so those are some playing cards that i have and the first idea that I had very very easy using the Hobby Lobby um, punch was to put the card in now you'll have to it won't fit in one of the the exact because um, it's like two and a quarter so I'm I'm gonna put it so that it is centered and then come down on it and I've made a tag out of a playing card. Now, a lot of times the playing card is rough and it's hard. You can't really write on it. Um, so what I decided to do was I thought I would go ahead and I attached a index card to the back of the playing card. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut around that. And it's made a pocket and it also has um, given a place for writing. So now because this has a pocket in it, I probably wouldn't do any other um, decorating because the one thing I've discovered is you really, um, it, it's hard to, um, stuff doesn't adhere very well to to this. So we have to the playing card surface. So we have this little butterfly and we have the orange flowers. I have this bag of trims. I think this was from Jana. And I I'm like I have got to start using these wonderful things that people have sent me. So I've been taking things out and setting them close to me because you know I really do try to use what's around me on my desk. And looks like there's some orangey that. Oh, and then, oh, oh my gosh, look at that. It's bad when you don't even remember what was in here, huh? So, I, I know what I'm going to use that. So let's go ahead and I didn't put my glasses on. This could, this could be bad. So um, this is Saturday that I am filming this video. 
I have very, very busy week coming up. Of course, right now I have my grandkids here. And that was exciting and unexpected. Um, they don't, we don't usually get them for Easter, spring break. And this year it worked out that we, we got them for Easter and I was able to keep them for the week. So, um, I told myself I just need to make a video for tomorrow. So here I am making a video for tomorrow. William just walked in. Um, so we'll just go ahead and add some of these pretty strings and give us a tag and then if if you have like a wooden butterfly you can add it down there stop it thank you don't know what that was all about <laughs> he's standing here jumping up and down <laughs> okay so um I do have my awesome little tiny attacher and we can go ahead and just attach this here. You'll want to sew or use um, a stapler for the most part on when you're decorating onto um, cards like this. That really, because <laughs> otherwise you might not, it might not stick. So we have this um, here, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on, but I will be using the hot glue and attaching that with hot glue. So this becomes, it's got a little pocket. You could put a little note in there. You know, you could put like sunshine and warm days in there, a little thing. So it's kind of kind of just a fun little thing that says bye Ta -da. so anyway so making a little tag out of your your card is one way that you can um, decorate it and now we cut all this eyelash trim yeah speaking of eyelash trim if you got if you got um, swaps from me this week and they have little black like hair things in them it's eyelash trim i did a couple of projects with black eyelash trim and it it was like on everything it was worse than dog hair <laughs> okay so our next one um i am going to use the blue airplanes and i'm going to use two of them and i'm going to sew around the outside <laughs> And by the magic of TV <laughs> or YouTube, we have one already made. So we'll come back and I'm going to go ahead and cut this like this. Now I'm going to make one of the altered paper clips here. Now um, you can do this either in either orientation, making it a pocket. Of course, you could just make this a pocket right now. You could put a circle, punch it with a circle punch, and you'd have a, a it's a really tight pocket, but you'd have a pocket. Um, I'm going to use this butterfly clip here, okay? So I'm going to put the butterfly clip in. I'm going to put it a little bit at an angle so that it's got a little piece sticking out here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just pour the hot glue in the top of it here. So, um, so you could actually have a bunch of pockets already made and then just pour the glue down. Be careful because if you're touching where the glue is touching the, the metal of the butterfly clip, yeah, it could get really warm. So, now your butterfly clip only goes down this far. So, if you are decorating, say, um, down in this area, then, um, then you can use your stapler. Okay, so let's see if we have something that we can use. I'm 
trying to think ahead of projects that I have coming up that I would be able to use these in. So, so here's this. Now what we could do is grab some words. Um, how about amazing? Just We'll just do amazing and put that here. Okay. And okay. And then maybe um, from out of, I have this that is a bunch of just scraps that are quite a variety. These are from when I made those bit large tags actually um, on my Cricut. It's kind of coppery. So we can do this one. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and come around it a little bit. I kind of like the airplane. Okay. And then maybe, how about a green one? There. And again, we can use the tiny attacher. Thank you, Jana. I love my tiny attacher. I love because to me they look more like artwork than than just a regular staple. So there. And again, we have um, attached it up here. Now you might come over and reattach with some. ATG or with some glue there. Okay, and want a center. Now this is going to be for a different project, so I'm going to go ahead and use an orangey, peachy bling. And again, I will probably go ahead and um, Attach that with the hot glue. There we go. We can just go ahead and add the three dots. So what we have here is we have an altered paper clip. And that will go ahead and it will attach. And it will hold a whole... It's a, it's a good attacher. And then we can... Um, Put some ribbon on the top I happen to have here as well. Okay. And I like to put things on my paper clips so that they're coming, it's coming out so that there is interest at the, especially this is going to attach at the top of the page, so there will be some interest at the top of the page. So if you have like something to do with an airplane, you could put that down here um, and that would be kind of cool, but I think that that's pretty fun and it's easy and you can, like I said, you can just have a whole bunch of pockets already ready. You could use an index card or something back here where you would be able to write a little note and it's not something that everyone's gonna see. So, um, yeah, so there you go. So that's number two. I don't know what, oh, number two. Okay, so the next thing that you can do is you could just make like a tuck spot using the playing card. So, and what you would do there is maybe just staple it on and then decorate, decorate it how you might want it to be decorated. Um, 
let's see, I have some of these red roses that I got. Um, so this shows her shoes. They're kind of kind of cool. So you can go ahead and just again just attach the flower with your tiny attacher or your stapler. And I'm going to go ahead and round this off a little more so it looks more like a flower. I'm going to save that because I might use it somewhere else. So there's that. And then you can go ahead and I think lovely is a great word for this. And you have a cute little, um, again, it could be a tuck spot. It could um, also... Uh, this one I probably wouldn't cut out. I would I would measure it first because I don't want to cut out her face, you know. And that's what would happen. Her face would get cut out from the tag. Um, so I wouldn't I wouldn't I would watch where I was using a tag. Um, so another way to use a card I have. I have done things where I've punched out of the center and turned two cards, put them together with uh, the cellophane in the middle and turned it into a shaker. And um, those have been really cute as well. So then we have this one that says Inhale Beauty. And these have... Um, Ideas on the back of ways to use it. So you can, if you have a card like this, you could just leave it as it is. And it could be in... Go ahead. Close this up. It could go in an envelope. So this is an envelope made with the um, memory. We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. And book paper. And so the, the envelope is where you could be doing the majority of your um, decorating. And if you wanted it to, to have a, a tag on it, maybe that doesn't even come close to matching. Um... Well, we can put blue on it. So instead of putting a hole in it, because maybe you don't want to mess it up by putting a hole in it, you can put a tab on it like this. You just take, and I know some of these are very, very simplistic, but there are brand new crafters out there that have asked for other ways to use items that they might be able to find around the house. So I just attached it there. Um, if you were going to be, if it was going to go in from the side, you could attach it easily, attach it on the side. So there we have the, um, the card because I wanted to use both sides of the card. And then what I would do is I would decorate the envelope. So, um, so maybe... That doesn't really match and that doesn't really match those little guys are kind of cute he got colored the others didn't and I don't have the colors out um okay so let's go back to some flowers and um, or does this washi tape yeah, we can use this washi tape. So you see, um, it's it's close enough. Now this is washi tape that was from somebody else. It was on the envelope that they sent me, and I've saved it because it is really cute. And um, there. 
So I can just take this recycled and because this bird is right here and he's looking that way, I want to make sure that there's something else like he would be looking at. So I'm going to put that flower there. Okay, and this is something I can actually put in my personal journal, journal or in my garden journal. And I think it will be really fun to have it there. There we go. And, okay, my glue gun is now able to come over, except for on days like today, where I have too much stuff in the way. <laughs> You know what? That orange would be really cute in there. I probably took too much time. Yeah, I like the orange because there's orange in there. And I'm going to take these um, stickers I got at the Dollar Tree. And they are just really fun. There's just, they're, they're good, a good choice of words and I always like gold so so there we have instead of decorating the card we decorated where the card will go so that's kind of fun and then we have this one here and Oh, did these, I wanted to see, I would, this was one of my questions, I was wondering if this would fit. So some of these um, little pocket things that you might get in a, um, in a rack, a rack, a random act of kindness will work. The other thing is on a tag, okay? So this is a little bit bigger than the tag. So what I'm going to do is you see how she's sitting kind of crooked. I'm going to take and make her to be sitting kind of more straight. I'm going to attach this so that it becomes a pocket in case some, you know, when I'm actually working on this book, in case I want to um, use it like a pocket, I can. So there, I've just attached it. And then we'll put it right here. And then uh, again, um, I thought maybe these stickers and this Hey Girly Hey, I thought it was kind of cute. And I thought we'd just put it here. Oh, no, not there. Because the tag goes like this. So this is, there you go. And then I would replace the top pieces. My husband has, I just heard the garage door open and he's home. So I am going to call this the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gives you some ideas on how to use um, your cards and make embellishments using cards that uh, won't fall apart. <laughs> So, which one was your favorite? I'm kind of liking this tag right here. And um, I would love to see what you do. So, please show me your ideas and scrap all about it. That's our Facebook group. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. Have bye. an amazing day. Bye. That's Will. He says bye. Bye-bye.